Welcome to the AutoSys training video. By the end of this video, you will learn about event-driven job scheduling using a Windows service monitoring job. To enhance your learning experience, we will use an example of a fictitious bank called the Head Moral Bank and demonstrate automating the job runs based on the status of the Windows services using the Windows services monitoring job. The Head Moral Bank takes a cold database backup before starting the batch jobs as a part of the end of the day processes. During the cold backup, the database administrators must ensure that the backup is consistent and that no tables are in use or actively being modified during the backup process. To do so, they must stop the database service, MS SQL service, before proceeding with the cold backup. The workload automation developer can use AutoSys to automate the cold backup process. The developer can use the Windows service monitoring job in the Windows environment to check the status of the MS SQL Server Windows service and trigger the cold backup process if the Windows services is in a stop state. Before we create and set up the Windows service monitoring job to monitor the status of the Windows services, let's understand how the job functions. The Windows services monitoring job enables you to monitor the status of the Windows services and trigger the job run in the workflow. Using the Windows service monitoring job, developers can check for the existence of the Windows service, monitor the status of Windows services, complete the job with failure status if the Windows service does not exist, and complete the job with success status when the Windows service status matches the status defined in the job definition. Let's enter our training environment and create a Windows service monitoring job to trigger the cold backup process when the MS SQL Server Windows service stops. For this demo, we assume that the environment settings for AutoSys are already in place. To create a Windows service monitoring job using a Jill script, connect to the AutoSys server running on a Linux operating system and open the primary and secondary shell prompts. In the primary shell prompt, open a text file using a text editor like VI. Define the Windows Services Monitoring Job definition using the Jill attributes. Provide a unique name for the job definition. Define the job type as OMS. Provide the target machine name. Ensure that the system agent is installed and the specific machine is defined within AutoSys. If the machine is not defined, AutoSys fails the job creation. Specify the owner's name. Ensure the owner is a valid operating system user authorized to access the Windows services. If not, on execution the job fails. Specify the Windows service name, the status of the service the job will monitor, and the monitor mode using the respective attributes. Now save the text file. In the Jill interface, provide the job definition file name as an input and press enter to create the job in the scheduler. The job returns the exit code as zero if the job creation is successful. Let's run the auto syslog command with option E in the secondary shell prompt to monitor the event logs of the Windows service monitoring job run. Now that you have successfully created a job, let's manually start the job for this demo. To do so, in the primary shell prompt, start the job using the send event command. If the start conditions are met, the job starts. You may notice that the auto syslog command utility displays the event log showing the current status of the Windows service monitoring job in the secondary shell prompt. You can notice that the job is started and is in running status. The job checks for the status of the specified Windows service immediately. If the Windows service status is stopped, the job completes with success status and an exit code of zero. You can also check the status of the job by running the auto rep command in the primary shell prompt. When the status of Windows Service Monitoring Job changes to success, AutoSys triggers the cold backup workflow. Thank you for watching the training video on Windows Service Monitoring Job.